Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Lorena, I'm a somatic self-concept and manifestation coach and I support women to shift their identity, step into a new self-concept and embody a new state of being sustainably so that you can align with anything you desire in life and make it manifest. We're basically bridging the gap between who you currently are and who you desire to be or become. If you want more content about these topics, then please subscribe to my channel and switch on the notifications. And if you like this particular video, you can leave a like as well. I also invite you to check out the links in the description box below because you will find a bunch of free resources there to get you either started on your self-concept journey or to support you in finding a different way because I teach a bit of a different approach than what you normally see online. Let's get into the video. This series is my Monday manifestation message series where every Monday I bring you a short and sweet video which is either a reminder or a motivation or an intention or reflection point for you to really go into the week empowered and motivated to create the reality that feels good to you. Today's message is affirm what you already know to be true. Basically, this message is about how to use affirmations. Affirmations are a very popular manifestation tool or technique. And if you're here for the first time, you may not know what I'm about to say, but if you've been here for a while, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of affirmations. I don't use them a lot. I don't really recommend them to people. And that's not because there's anything wrong with them. I think they can actually be quite fun, but I think they're often used in a way that's really not helpful in creating more harm than good. And that's simply because if you try to convince yourself of something that doesn't actually feel true to you through affirming it heavily or mindlessly, then you're actually just going to create resistance in your consciousness and unconsciously affirm the exact opposite of what you want to affirm. Now, there are some ways in which I do find affirmations useful, and this one I just want to share with you today, and that is to affirm what you already know to be true. Basically, instead of mindlessly or robotically affirming something that is very far-fetched from your current reality, and therefore most likely just creating resistance in your subconscious, look at the things that you already know or feel to be true and create your affirmations around that. That's really what an affirmation is supposed to be. An affirmation, it's, it's not something new you convince yourself of. It's something that's already true and that you already know to be true, that you are literally reaffirming. So look at what you already believe, what you already find realistic and really hone in on that. When you affirm what you already know and believe to be true, what will happen is that it will strengthen the positive or valuable beliefs that you already have rather than you having to fight your own subconscious or your own consciousness. And today's journaling prompt or reflection point really aligns with that task because it's for you to make a list of at least 10 things but you can write way more, you can fill pages with this, but minimum 10 beliefs that you already have, that you already believe to be true, even if it's just on some level, things you already love about yourself, things you already love about your life, and write these down as affirmations and let it make your belief stronger and use it as an opportunity to celebrate your life so far, to celebrate yourself and to celebrate how far you've already come. And if you'd like to share at least one of the things that you are choosing to hone in on, one of the beliefs, one of the things you love about yourself or your life or your reality, then please share it in the comments with me. I wanna see you celebrate yourself. I wanna see you really connect to these beliefs that make your life and your reality and your feeling about yourself so much better. And if you have any questions, you can also always contact me on Instagram and send me a DM over there because I truly love connecting with you in general, also privately. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you in the next video.